I'm Toby Huey, and this is my cross story. The beginning of, of my story is uh, in church. All I ever knew growing up <clears throat> was going to Sunday school, going to church. Uh, you know, one of the things that I remember about the Lutheran church, of course this isn't about every Lutheran church, but the one that I was in, is uh, it was pretty, pretty dry. Every week you had the same homilies from the hymnals. You'd hope that you would be singing songs from the hymn book that you knew, <laughs> and not just something that was like an old song that nobody ever heard about. And then when uh, I moved to Omaha and we, I found this church, I'm like, this is a little different than the Lutheran church. They raised their hands. Um, some people would actually clap. They would have contemporary worship. There was, uh, they had several services. Another thing about this uh, church is that it had several thousand members every weekend, uh, which was much larger than any church that I grew up in, because um, usually if you're, you're lucky to get 100 people in a Lutheran church at the same time. What was interesting is I started seeing other Christian programs, ministries, things like that, and I got to ask the Lord, I'm like, God, what? is going on here. I see this man, he's preaching Jesus. He says he's a Christian. I see this woman, she's preaching. She says she's a Christian. I see this other guy, he's preaching. He says he's a Christian. And their ministries are different. I'm seeing, uh, they're talking about uh, gifts of the Holy Spirit. They're talking about um, different ministries that are going on, things that I'd never heard about in a Lutheran church. And he's like, hey, read the Bible, read the New Testament. And without any sort of a, a God box put around me, I just started reading the New Testament without any sort of a, a Lutheran bias, okay? Because we all grow up in church, we all have a certain way of thinking, we all have a way that we're taught to think when we're going through church. And I said, okay, I'm gonna start reading it. Now, what I found out is that there's a lot of heaviness when you start reading the Bible without any sort of a, um, let's just say blinders on, uh, where you have uh, things guiding your thoughts. It's like, no, I'm going to let the Bible be my guide and I'm not going to let anything else be my guide. Man, I tell you what, it was like God smacked me upside the head with the Holy Ghost 2x4 because he said, everything I've taught you since you were, all, when, since you were a little kid, it's all real. Not only that, I felt it was like as if he was showing up in my living room. I felt his presence just show up. And it was... It was, it would make you speechless. That presence was so overwhelming and so impressive. And all I could do is say, God, I've known about you all my life, but I've not known you. And here I am thinking, I've wasted my entire life. I have absolutely wasted every freaking moment I had. It was a complete waste of my time to even go through all that time in church. It didn't matter. It was wasted because I didn't know who he was. I didn't know him. I thought I did, but I didn't know him. And how many other people also grow up in church doing their weekly check-in on the Sunday mornings, uh, you know, hitting it up twice a week, maybe on the Christmas and the Easter, or, you know, uh, weeks, but they don't really know the maker. They don't really know the Holy Spirit, the one who gave them life, the one who gives life and breath. Um, and I want everybody to know him. Why? Not just because of the awesomeness that I've found in him, but you know, there's a God in heaven. His heart's broken because we don't know him. <laughs>